It certainly is very tense because, you know, the uh, different ingredients that are here are, are, are very dangerous ones. You have on one side uh, the uh, uh, supporters of the Islamist President Mohammed Morsi who are determined to see their man go through with his and finish his uh, entire mandate in office. They say he was legitimately democratically elected and therefore he should stay in, uh, in front again or in front of them or against them or the uh, opposition who yet again this Sunday morning are amassed behind me on Tahrir Square uh, in central Cairo and they want Mohammed Morsi uh, to leave office immediately. They say he has betrayed the ideals uh, of the revolution, certainly hasn't brought enough, brought about enough social justice according to them and standing in between them sort of mediating this uh, is the uh, army who for the moment officially remains neutral but has warned that it would step in if necessary in order to bring back in order to bring back uh, order uh, to the streets of uh, Egypt and certainly to avoid that uh, Egypt plunge yet again in, a, in, in another spiral of violence. Well, how are the Egyptian people handling all of this? You mentioned this spiral of violence. Are they concerned that this may turn uh, ugly? Very much so. And now for those who are protesting, some of them tell me that they're ready to die. That definitely means that they're expecting some confrontations to take place. As for those who won't be joining the massive crowds, remember that millions of people are expected to take to the streets. Some of those who are choosing to stay behind are barricading themselves inside of their houses. Some uh, 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 people have simply chosen to leave the country. We saw massive crowds at Cairo's international airport, Egyptian businessmen, those who can afford plane tickets foreign dignitaries, embassy workers simply choosing to leave the country before these uh, massive protests. Remember that the highest Islamic authority in Egypt has warned that, that if the two sides don't quickly come to the table and talk with each other, then there's a risk of civil war. Now, the leaders of both camps have promised that their marches, their respective marches this Sunday would be peaceful, but it remains to be seen whether their supporters will heed these calls.